It's the G to the U to the R to the U. But you know what? I know who's not going to love me, though. I, I, I'm the love doctor, but my man Ryan Pace ain't going to love me. You know why he ain't going to love me? Because Chicago, hey, Chicago, win this city, they be. Win this city, the home of the Bulls, home of the Black Hawks, the home of the Sox. You know what I'm saying? The White Sox, the home of the Cubs. And you guys have also the home of the worst GM in all of football. The home of the worst GM, Ryan Pace from the Chicago Bears, dog. Holy smoke, I've been preaching this like, hey, who's that preacher, man? Who's the black preacher that be on the movies? Tyler Perry, is that his name? Yeah, man, I've been preaching this shit like Tyler Perry, dog. Like Tyler Perry, but I'm straight up, don't wear no wig, and I don't wear no woman clothes, dog. I'm a straight alpha man, and what I'm saying is, my man, Ryan Pace, Ryan Pace is terrible, man, that's terrible, and I don't know what more to say, dog. This Chicago... You guys, your organization right now is in a situation where you guys are, I don't think you guys are realizing you guys are drowning, dog. You know what I'm saying? You guys are drowning so fast, and I don't think you guys are realizing what's going on in your organization. It's like, because it's happening so quick. It's like, I don't think your fan base really knows. So as the, you know, as the fan base truth teller that I am, you know what I'm saying? Because I am African. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, the medicine man. I am the medicine man African guy because I see the truth. That's why they call me the guru. You know what I'm saying? As the guru truth sayer, this is, what I, this is what I see from Chicago right now, man. This is what I see. I see a freaking garbage fire. I see the defense is about to go down the drain. Those guys don't want to be there. They ain't got no quarterback. Them dudes went and got Andy Dalton, my friend. Andy Dalton, they got rid of Money Mitch for Andy Dalton. Yes, that what Ryan Pace. Ryan Pace think that is a good decision. Yes, yes, that's what Ryan Pace. I mean, this dude, the same guy that drafted. Um, I can't even name you those guys because they'll bust. It's like guys that make one. You know those guys that make one of them one hit wonders. Those guys are like, this dude, what's this dude name? He drafted again in 2016. Um, the receiver, that's a bust. Yeah, he's a bust. I'm not going to know his name because he's a bust. You know what I'm saying? How are you going to know names of bust? I'm looking at all the Chicago Bears draft for the last five, six years. I can't name a day. Who, who the hell am I going to name, dog? Tyree Cohen, man, get the hell out of here, dog. They ain't got no receivers. Anthony Miller? What? Dude, I don't, they got, this. my man Ron Pace went and signed Jermaine Afidi, dog. He went and signed Jafidi and tried to sell it like he's the best offensive lineman in the world, dog. It's time, sometimes people are not qualified for their job. You know what I'm saying? That's why people, that's why we, now I know why we have resume and we have interviews. Because sometimes you ain't qualified. I don't know where Ron Pace came from, dog. I don't know who did that interview. I don't know what that situation was, but they got to be a trickling effect because they got to be a firing effect, dog. Because the decision maker that decided, that said Ryan Pace is a good GM, he needs to get checked out. He needs to get checked out because every decision this man has made, dog, every decision Ryan Pace has made has been shitty. It has been shitty. And this guy and the media had the audacity to give this man a uh, GM of the year over my man um, uh, from the Colts. Over Chris Ballard. Are you serious? My man Ryan Pace, dude, I'm just, I, I, I can't even say much more because it's like, I don't like the guy. It's like, from the get one, you know, it's like the Usher song, but for the male version. Y'all remember that Usher song, You Remind Me, but the male version? That's what Ryan Pace, Ryan Pace remind me of this, he got me, he remind me of this dude in school I went to school with. That's why I don't fuck with him, dog. You know what I'm saying? He remind me of this dude, man. This dude was a lacrosse, Ryan Pace looked like a lacrosse player, that's wonderful. He don't even look like a football guy. He looked like he played lacrosse, dog. He looked like he went to Holy Cross and he played lacrosse. That's what he looked like, a straight-up lacrosse. Now he's leading a, a, a football organization. My man, Ron Pace, probably got the worst drafting rates. 
His free agency race is terrible. This man just released one, probably one of his best defensive players in, in Kyle Fuller to save some money. Bro, are you trying to save money now? Now you trying to save money? Bro, I know one thing, Chicago. If you're trying to save your organization, you all better get rid of the worst GM in football. And I'm going to transition after that, man, because I'm going to – Lose my damn chest messing out with that dude, man. I'm going to lose my voice. How much I keep telling you I don't mess with that dude, dog. Like, Guru, you hating on Ryan Pace? Nah, the dude is terrible, dog. Like, dude, what's, this is about receipts. What is your receipt, Ryan Pace? Because Matt Nagy is saving your ass, bro. I give it to Matt Nagy. I, first, I, I thought it was a Matt Nagy situation. But you know, Nagy, dog, for you to even go to the playoff and have a winning record, with that nonsense roster you got, kudos, man. If I have a hat, I'll take my hats off, man. But the guru don't wear no hats, dog. Because I like my baldy, baby. My baldy. Shout out to my man, Baldy, by the way, man. You my dog, man. Baldy, what's up with them films um, preview, man? <laughs>